Good day everyone. Good to have you here today. My name is Mr. Chinoso. In today's class, we'll be looking at safety. Safety. Remember what we tweeted last? We tweeted uses of material. But in today, we'll be looking at a new topic, safety. Now we want to look at the definition of safety. Safety means keeping yourself and others free from harm or danger. I will take it again. Safety means keeping yourself, yourself, and others, your siblings, your friends, or your loved ones, free from harm or danger. So you have to learn how to be what? Free from danger because there are other things that can what endanger one's what health. Now we want to look at the objects that can cause what accidents. You have them in your homes, you have them in school, in other parts of your environment. Now objects that cause accidents are broken bottles. Yes, in your home, you might be taking your soft drink or you might be taking something that's made of bottle and it slips off your hands and it drops on the floor and it breaks. So, when you see such, you know what to do. If you cannot take care of that, you call your parents to help you out or someone older than you to take care of that trash. Remember, you must know what? Step your feet on it because it might lead to an injury. So when you have bro broken bottles, you quickly what? Sweep it and pack it carefully. Remember, you pack it carefully, don't use your hands to pack it because it might pierce or it might cut you. Please take note. Nail, good, nail. Some children play with nail. Remember, it is what? A very what? Dangerous object. You don't play with it. You don't play with it. When you see such, you keep it aside carefully. You might be careless and you step on it. It might lead to something very dangerous. So nail is very dangerous. You don't play with it. You keep it safe from the reach of your younger ones. Please. Now we have knife. We can find knife in the kitchen. So, when you see knife placed in other parts of the room, please carefully what, keep it back in the kitchen where it belongs to. You don't play with knife, it's very dangerous, very sharp. It can cut you or any part of your body. So, you don't play with it. It's not a plain word. Objects, these are not toys. These are objects that can lead to injuries. The fourth one is blade. Good. We don't play with sharp objects. Blade is very dangerous and very sharp. It can cut you if you don't take good care of it. Please, you keep it careful. Keep it where it belongs to. Tell your mom, mom, I saw a razor blade on the shelf or anywhere in your room. Please, your mom can take good care of it and keep it where it belongs to. The fifth one is broken chairs or table. When you see such, please carefully dispose it. Or you call your elderly ones to what? Help you out with this. Please don't play with anything of this what? Nature. They are very dangerous to your health. The sixth one we look at broken glass. Yes, like a glass cup or your or your anything that is made of glass. When it touches the floor, please carefully pack it out. There are tiny ones that you might not see. You have to be careful while sweeping. And while sweeping, don't use, don't go on barefoot. You have to put on your slippers, which is called flip flop. You put it on and carefully you pack it out and dispose it without the reach of your younger ones. Please don't allow your younger ones to come close to anything broken on the floor because it might be dangerous to their health. Now we go to the seventh, naked wire. Good. Some children play with electric wire. They don't know the detrimental effect of electric wire. 
is very dangerous when there is light and you play with naked wire it might lead to electrocute it might electrocute anyone and it's very dangerous when something of this nature touches your skin it's very very dangerous you're not an electrician when you see such inform your parents they will take good care of that by inviting an electrician to visit up please don't go close to any switch don't play with any switch in your room your at any point in the school you don't play with switch when you see something of this nature quickly what inform your teacher your parents or your elder ones to work to take note of it so they can work properly work seal it up we go to another section which is safety devices include now we have lots of safety devices depending where you're working remember as a teacher we have a safety what device as an engineer you have your safety device as any occupation you have your safety device you don't go to work without your safety what device especially engineers because they are exposed to what harmful what substances or objects so they need their safety world devices now we will go through these devices one is what fire extinguisher now when there's what an outbreak of fire please you don't go and start what, looking for water and whatever to paint the fire remember locally made fire extinguisher you can mix your water with your detergent so that it can be effective for what to quench the fire but if you don't have one you can equally what look for what fire extinguisher this is one example of a fire extinguisher it is used to quench fire when there is what an outbreak of fire it is used to quench fire and it's very heavy it's made for the adults not for children so don't go lifting it because it might be dangerous when it slips off your hands and eats your foot or your feet. Now we go to the next one. We have what? Apron. We have apron. This apron is used to what? Maybe those in the kitchen while cooking, you put it on to what? To what? To avoid what? To avoid not being stained by what? What you're cooking. So when it falls on the apron, it won't stain your inner clothes. So you see your mom putting on apron, it's not fashion, it's used as a what a safety word device. Now we have the next one, boots. Now as an engineer, it's important you go with your boots to the site of any what industrial area so that it will you won't what your foot or your feet won't get out. Now we have a very good example of a boot. This one example here is used, is, it is wall and it is used during what an industrial world outreach. When you go for an industrial reach, you go with your boat, you don't go with just flip flop because objects or add objects might pass through that and injure you. So that's why it's important you wear your boots while going in. We have our hand glove. Our hand glove is very important i would say because most engineers always put on their angle like in the case of this this one example of angle this is very light it's not for engineers the doctors they make use of this to avoid what contact with other words the body of other person so so we the doctors put on this to avoid what maybe blood and other what dangerous things that can what arm them so they wear this during operation or during any activity that requires angle now we go to the next one eye shade or google or goggle eye shade or goggle now you go to uh, some industries you see the waiters putting on their goggle to close their words to shade their eyes from this light from the world soldering. So those things coming out 
won't want to get into their world eyes. So they use it to shade their eyes from such what harmful what gases. Now we go to the next one, which is what caution sign. Caution sign. When you're driving, you see a lot of signs on the road. It is used to what to mitigate what accidents. Now when you see such, you know that there's a bend or there's a corner or there's a U-turn. You know how to drive. You will move fast or you will move a little bit careless. So you'll be able to what, know what is ahead of you without you reaching there. So those road signs are meant for what? Good driving. Maybe your, your, your car broke down. You remember what to do. You bring out the triangular what? sign to signify that this vehicle is not more moving. So when something is coming behind you, we we what alert it and they will carefully what divert without what eating your car. Now we go to the next one, seat belt. Good. When your dad or your mom is driving, please ensure that their seat belt is on and also you put on your seat belt in case of unforeseen what accident so that you can be safe. Remember, seat belt is very important because if you don't go with it, the road safety they might even what might even penalize you for not putting on your seat belt because it's about life and it's about life. Now we go to the next one which is number eight. Road signs. Zebra crossing. Yes, you don't go to the road and start crossing without looking your left or your right. Remember we have zebra crossing? You stand there and when you stand you carefully walk cross and the vehicle will wait for you because that is the law stated. So we have number nine face marks. Face marks is used to protect yourself from dust. A dusty environment or in a worse cement factory is meant that you put on your face marks to what? To mitigate the intake of harmful gases or substances or particles from such factory. So with this, you can easily what, be safe from harmful what, substances in the environment. Remember you breathe in. So what you breathe in is being contaminated by such what, facilities or such activities taking on in that industry. So you need your face mask to close your mouth and your nose so that you can intake or breathe in such substance. Now we have hearing protection. Good. Like in the, in the factory where you have heavy machines, you see how loud those machines are? So loud that you can barely hear each other. Yes, you have to scream while talking because of the loudness of such machines. So with that, it might affect your eardrum and you have your hearing what protection. It's like what? A, ear, a what, headphone, you put it on, it mitigates or it contains this what, the loudness. Remember, even in, in what, even in the police academy, when you're being trained how to shoot, you have to put it on to avoid what damaging your eardrum because the sound of the drum, gun shot is so loud that it might affect your eardrum. When you come back from home, from work, and you, someone talk to you, you'll be saying eh, 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 because of what the sound of such machine is disturbing, it's distracting your hearing. So now we have the next one, helmets. Yes, engineers. You see them putting on helmets when they're in the site because of what? For eventually they fall, that can protect their what? Their skull from being what? Broken. So helmet is very important. It's very important you put it on. Even when you're on the bike, you, you're asked to put on your helmet in case there's any accident and you fall off from the bike, you won't damage your skull. It will be what? Safe because your helmet is on. Remember, these are the safety devices we have in base science on the safety. Remember, we have lots more, lots more, but these are the essential ones you need to know. You need to know like your lab coats. When you put on your lab coats, if you are maybe a scientist, you put on your lab coat, it's like wearing your airphone because what it does is just protect your 
clothes from being what stained. Now, remember what we said safety is? We just go through this and you repeat after me. Safety means keeping. Keeping, that means avoiding being what injured. Keeping yourself and others, your young ones, your loved ones, your friends, your family, free from harm or danger. So this is what safety is. Safety means keeping yourself and others from free from harm and dangers. And we listed some of the dangerous what objects you can find in your homes or your schools. So these objects are very important. You need to know that when you have this in your room or in your house, you need to take good care of it because it might be dangerous when it comes to what injury. So there are very, 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 very few of these. We have more, you can find it in other parts of your rooms. So with this, I believe that you'll be able to what, identify objects that cause accidents and you'll be able to what, list safety devices which we have. These are the common ones. I know you know all these. Remember I showed you fire extinguishers, your apron, your boots, your hand glove, your eye shade or goggle. That means your eyeglass, but it's a bigger one. Caution sign, seat bed, you have that in your dad's car, your mom's car, road signs, zebra crossing, face marks, I showed one, face marks, do you see that? So you see a lot of people putting on face marks because of what is trending in town now. So you have your face marks, hearing what? Protection, hearing protection, you wear it as a headphone, let's see if you are listening to what? Your music. But it's not used for that, it's just to protect your ears from what? Loud devices or machineries. Helmets, you see people putting on helmets when going to the side. Most of these are what? What the safety what? devices we have in safety. Now, with this, I hope you'll be able to do your classwork and go through your notes. Please remember to stay safe. I'll see you in our next class. Bye.